Hi, folks. Andre Marlin and Andre Marlin Superstars in Sykeston and Dexter, Missouri. Let Jeff Williams rope a deal for you. If you've been looking for America's hottest selling SUV, the Chevrolet Equinox or the GMC Terrain with a 32 miles per gallon highway, we got them. Two huge locations to serve you. That's Moreland Chevrolet, Cadillac, and Dexter, and Autry Moreland Incorporated in Sykeston, Missouri. If Moreland's standing on the back of your car, truck, or horse, you pay too much. Good morning. Welcome back once again to the Statesman News Network. Today we have several interesting stories for you. Need a used bicycle? How about an embroidered pillowcase? A bud vase, an Elvis lamp, ceramic Santa, silk roses, or even a Big Ben alarm clock? Well, shoppers can no doubt find these and literally hundreds of thousands of other items that may or may not need along the 100-mile stretch of Highway 25 from Jackson in the north to Kennett in the south this week as the 12th annual 100-mile yard sale kicks off this Thursday. For now a dozen years, the yard sale has been conducted over the Memorial Day weekend. With the sale kicking off this week, it will continue through Monday, May 31st, so make sure you get out and enjoy it and watch for shoppers as you drive around. Also in today's paper is a story about the recent request by Southeast Missouri State University to be allowed to offer associate's degrees at their regional campuses. The request to the Coordinating Board of Higher Education will be made within the next 30 days and will come from Southeast Missouri State University Board of Regents. Dr. Hux, who, Dr. Rick Hux, who is an alderman in Dexter and is also the director of the Malden facility, is hopeful that a decision will be made by September 2010. If the request from SEMO is granted, the AA program will likely be put into effect in the fall of 2011. you want to check out the print edition on this one because there's a lot more to it. Uh, interviews with officials from SEMO and officials from TRCC as well are really quite interesting, so check it out. The dust has barely settled on Richland's playground, and summer school is already in session. The summer program picked up Monday and will continue through Friday, June 18th. Classes in communication arts and math are included in the elementary summer school classes. Credit recovery is the focus at the high school level. Richland's next board meeting was rescheduled to take on Tuesday to be to take place on Tuesday, June 22nd, to allow the district's end of the year finances to be completed before closing of the current school year. The Daily Statesman in North Stoddard County and will be webcasting live the upcoming Memorial Day ceremony that will be held at Bloomfield in the Courthouse Square next Monday, May 31st, beginning at 11 a.m. Associate County Commissioner Frank Sifford will be the keynote speaker, and the Bloomfield First General Baptist Church Choir will perform patriotic music at the ceremony. DVDs will be available by calling our office at 624-4545 or by visiting our website at www.dailystatesman.com. Cardinals pitcher Kyle Loge underwent an MRI exam of his right forearm that revealed inflammation but no structural damage. Loge was on the St. Louis team flight to San Diego on Monday, but told the Associated Press he didn't expect to make his next scheduled start, which is scheduled to be Friday in Chicago against the Cubs. Loge is scheduled for further medical exams to determine just the, how, the extent of his injury. The team said there's no timetable for the right-hander's return. Today should bring scattered showers and thunderstorms and be partly cloudy, with a high near 88 and a southeast wind around 6 miles per hour. Lows tonight should dip down into the mid-60s, with off and on chance of rain continuing throughout the week as we get hot and humid. I'd like to thank everyone once again for joining us here at the Statesman News Network. If you have any questions, comments, or submissions for our reader question segment, email me, Corey, at cnoles at dailystatesman.com, or give me a call at 624-4545. Don't forget to pick up a copy of today's print edition for the stories you've already read about and much more. And on that note, we'll see you back here tomorrow. Thanks for watching.